Welcome to my channel Vet Visit. Here we are going to study veterinary science for the competitive examination preparation. So friends, today's topic is abattoir. This is a part two of this topic. This video is prepared by Dr. Hemant and Dr. Dilip Kumar. So friends, we are going to study about the byproducts utilization from the abattoir. So friends, utilization of blood. The blood is the first product which is obtained after slaughter and the blood is approximately 20 percent contains about 20 percent of solids the byproduct which we obtain from the blood is blood meal utilization of bone and horn the bone constitute on an average about 15 percent of the dressed carcass of the weight and bone collagen which is osin constitute about 33 to 36 percent of organic matter while inorganic matter consists of calcium which is about 32.6 percent and phosphor is about 12.5 percent the byproduct which we obtain from the bone and horn are gelatin is made heating of collagen rich connective tissue gelatin is produced by heating of the collagen rich connective tissue next is utilization of the hoof Hoof has the highest demand in the manufacture of neat foot oil. This foot oil which is used for the, in the aeroplanes. Byproduct. Neat foot oil, it is a pale golden yellow colored oil obtained from the spongy tissue. Sterine. Present in hooves of cattle, buffalo, sheep and goat. By processing of by of wet rendering, it contains high amount of unsaturated fatty acid of about 73.71 percent it contains unsaturated fatty acid oleic acid linoleic acid and palmitic acids which are the fatty acids present in the hoof and it solidified at a minus 10 degree celsius of temperature utilization of the intestine for casings intestine contains a four layer First outermost is mucosa, then submucosa, then serosa, then muscular. Casings is made from submucosa layer of the intestine. This is a very important point that casing is made from the submucosa layer of the intestine. Mucosa layer of beef and pig intestine can be used for the extraction of heparin and ship and goat intestine are also called for the preparation of the cat gut terminologies different terminologies are used for the different type of casings for example a casings made from the blind gut of cecum then it is known as beef bung if casings are prepared from part of large intestine of hog then it is known as chitterling or black gut if a uh, casings are prepared made from a cleaning and sealed hog stomach then it is known as mouse if casings are prepared from a large intestine of cattle or pig then it is known as middle if casings are prepared from a small intestine of cattle sheep and goat they are known as rounds if a casings are prepared from a small intestine of cattle then they are known as runner if a casings are prepared from a esophagus then they are known as v sand and if hank a unit of intestine is hank dried runner is equals to 180 meter and dried middle is 90 meter and salted runner is 30 meter and dried middle is 100 meter so friends many question has been asked from that which casings is prepared from the which part so please read this topic very carefully utilization of hide and skin the skin from fully large animal is called as hide and from small stock like sheep, goat, pig it is called as skin. Animal represent about 4 to 11 percent of the weight of the live animal and one most valuable byproduct is 59 percent of the byproducts animal byproducts is hide and skin. Tallow, a fat obtained from during processing like rendering that is known as tallow. Rendering of condensed condemned carcass. 
रिकवरी ऑफ फैट फ्रॉम द एनिमल मटेरियल बाई हीटिंग इज कॉल्ड एज रेंडरिंग रिकवरी ऑफ फैट फ्रॉम एनिमल मटेरियल बाई हीटिंग इज कॉल्ड एज रेंडरिंग दे आर टू मेथड्स ऑफ रेंडरिंग फर्स्ट इज ड्राई रेंडरिंग एंड सेकेंड इज वेट रेंडरिंग ड्राई रेंडरिंग इज डन एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ अबाउट वन फोर्टी टू वन सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस एट सेवेंटी फाइव टू वन एट्टी पी एस आई एंड वेट रेंडरिंग इज डन एट वन एट फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस एट अ फिफ्टी एट पी एस आई फोर थ्री टू horizontal for the dry rendering and vertical for the wet rendering digested materials in the dry rendering is called as crackling and in the wet rendering the digested material is known as tankage terminology related to skin first the skin from a older calf which has not yet reached maturity Mat- you are understanding this point that skin from older calf that has not reached maturity then it is known as skip hide removed by skid labor in a large meat packing plant hide removed by skid labor in a large meat packing plant that is known as packer packers hide if skin annoying accompanying wool from ship skin accompanying wool of ship then they are known as pelts hide obtained from an animal died from other than slaughter then they are known as murrain hide skin obtained from unborn calf is known as slunk a conversion of hide or skin into weather with a resistance non putrescible leather then the process is known as tanning the hide which is has not been preserved and just comes off a animal then it is known as green hide preservation of the hide the green hide or skin contains a percent of water and large amount of protein is highly suitable for the bacterial growth if temp time and temperature is favorable air drying most commonly used method for the preservation of hide and in india the bulk of the hide and skins are still air dried salt curing then for second process is salt curing the salt pack curing at a 10 to 13 degree celsius for 85 to 90 percent of relative humidity for 20 to 30 days mix mixer curing most commonly used in a small plants where floor space is limited then we use the method is mixer curing raceway curing most modern method of hide curing wet curing in which cured in a one to 1.5 meter pit containing saturated brine wool fleecy obtained from a sheep is, is called as greasy and wool or raw wool a wool fiber is elastic hygroscopic warmth containing durable non inflammable and transmits a ultraviolet light wool is a thick wavy and fibrous and protective covering of a sheep it mainly consists of insoluble proteins keratins the wool fiber grows from the follicle which is situated in the dermis and the middle layer of the which is middle layer of the skin properties of a wool fiber the characteristic of a wool fiber or a protein fiber are as follows first they are composed of amino acid the wool fiber are composed of amino acid they are excellent absorbency they are have excellent absorbency moisture regain is high they tends to be warmer than other they have a poor resistance to alkalis but good resistant to acids they are poor resistance to alkalis but good resistance to acids they have a good elasticity and resiliency this is difference between wool and fiber first medulla the medulla is absent in the wool and present in the hair cuticles is irregular in the wool and it is regular in the hair sides scaly projections in the wool and in hair 
sides are smooth diameter of the wool is less whereas the diameter of wool hair is more growth of the wool is continuous if not sheared and hair reached a maximum than shed softness of the wool is more as compared to hair elasticity is more in the wool as compared to hair heat retention is more in the wool as compared to hair moisture retention is more which is about 12 to 17% in the wool and less than 7 to 12% in the hair dye retention is permanent in the wool but temporary in the hair luster, luster is more in wool as compared to hair and inflammability is less in wool as compared to hair classification of the wool there are hundreds of different types of breeds according to of, uh, breeds of sheep they are classified according to their wool into five basic types which are fine medium cross breed long and coarse breeds fine wool breeds are merino rambolt its fit, fineness is wool is about 1 15 to 23 micrometer whereas the diameter of the fine wool is 50 to 120 millimeter and length is highly crimped and crimp waviness is australia africa at ussr and sources are fine outwear and knitted medium cross breeds which are uh, medium and cross breed ship we are uh, which are example are south down and corridal having a medium and fine fineness of about 24 to 30 micrometer and having a diameter of about 120 to 150 nanometer their crimpness is normal crimpness and they are found in the argentina and uruguay and they are having a heavier and most robust long coats they are found in the breeds like lincoln romney and caracal is fineness is coarse and about 30 micrometer its diameter is about of 150 mm having a low crimpness and straight they are found in the new zealand great britain and they are used for making carpet and traditional nearly they are used merino wool merino wool is originated in the spain yields are the best quality of the wool which is the best quality wool merino is the best quality wool these fibers are strong fine and elastic fiber which is relatively short ranging from about 1 to 5 inches or 25 to 125 mm among the different wool fibers merino wool has a greatest amount of crimp and has a maximum number of scale and merino is used for the best type of wool clothes which uh, wool is used merino wool is used for making of the wool cloth classify so friends we classify the fleecy on the basis of from where they are obtained for example lamb wool the fleecy which is obtained from a sharing of lamb between 6 to 8 month of the age old of and first time it is known as lamb wool and it is also referred to as a fleecy wool or first clip second is hogged wool the hogged wool is one which is obtained from 12 to 14 month old and that has not been previously shown then the term used is hogged wool the next is wither wool wither wool is one obtained from the sheep older than the 14 month older then we term use is wither wool then the pulled wool is which is obtained from the slaughtered which is animal originally slaughtered for meat then is pulled wool dead pull dead wool dead wool this is a wool obtained from a sheep that has died of an age accidentally killed and this type of wool fiber is should not be confused with a pulled wool the dead wool fiber is decidedly inferior in grade and it is used in low grade cloth cotton wool this type of wool is obtained from a sheep that are exposed to severe weather as i discussed the severe weather conditions hampers the quality of fleece obtained taglock the torn ragged or discolored part of the fleece are known as taglocks fur fur is a hair synonym of hair and used in reference to non human animals like mammals and particularly those with extensive body hair coverage speciality of the hair fibers for example mohair mohair is the most commonly used speciality fiber forms and the long lustrous coat of angora goat originated in turkey the word angora is come from a turkish word which means ankara meaning selected pashmina or kashmiri 
it is one of the finest and softest animal fiber obtained from a goat -like breed like pashmina and china is the world largest producer of kashmiri angora the finest natural fiber producing by the angora rabbit meat science the current status of meat industries in india the total milk production in india is about 7.7 .7 million tons india position in the world is fifth in and usa first is usa then brazil then uk and then china highest milk production in the state of india is uttar pradesh per capita availability meat meat it is a post rigor aspect of the muscles and the most abundant constituent of the carcass the meat it is a meat is the post rigor aspect of the muscles and the most abundant constituent of the carcass it contains about 35 to 65 per percent of the carcass weight and 30 to 40 percent of the live weight of the meat animal except in the case of obese animal meat is a primarily composed of skeletal muscle but blood vessels present in the muscle are composed of smooth muscle no structural unit of an skeletal muscle is a muscle fiber a structural unit of muscle fiber is a myofilament or myofibril functional unit of myofibril is sarcomer the distance between the two z line is known as sarcomer thin filament is actin which is i band called as i band and thick fila thin filament is actin which is i band and thick filament is myosin which is a band chemical composition of meat the pH of meat it is about 5.5 to 5.7. Its water content is about 75 percent, or it is ranging between 65 to 80 percent. The protein content in the meat is about 19 percent, which range from the 16 to 22 percent. The fat content is 2.5 percent. Non-protein nitrogens are 1.5 percent. Carbohydrate is about 1 percent, or between 0 0.5 to 1 percent. And inorganic constituents are 1 percent. Muscle proteins which are found in the muscles are sarcoplasmic proteins which are soluble in water and dilute salt solutions like myoglobin, creatine kinase, glycolytic enzymes and myofibrillar proteins which are soluble in the concentrate salt solution like actin, myosin, desmin, nebulin and tropomyosin and connective tissue proteins which are, which are insoluble in proteins for example they are collagen. What is a myoglobin? Myoglobin it is a red in color to the muscles and carries oxygen to the muscle fiber. A meat color is dependent on the chemical state of a myoglobin. Oxymyoglobin, the oxygens are added, then they are known as cherry red color, gives a cherry red color. If met, met myoglobin is a brownish red in color in which iron is added, then it become a met myoglobin cathepsins the autolysis lysosome enzymes that are catalyzed as a hydrolytic reaction leading to a resolution of a rigor mortis then they are known as cathepsins calcium activated sarcoplasmic factor which is calpens the proteolytic enzymes activates by a calcium and contribute to tenderizing the of aging of meat collagen it contributes to the meat toughness it is a glycoprotein containing galactose and glucose it contains amino acid like glycine hydroxyl proline and proline estimate of the collagen is performed by measuring the hydroxyl proline content phospholipids they play an important role in the meat flavor then it is most important that which the uh, phospholipids play an important role in the meat flavor Nutritive value of the meat. The biological value of a meat is about 75%. Lean meat cut, cut contains about 20%. And collagen is rich in the hydroxyl proline and poor in lysine. Abundant fatty acid in meat is our oleic acid, then palmitic acid, then steric acid. Pork and organs meats are rich in the linoleic acid. Pork and organ meats are rich in linoleic acid. Meat is a good source of iron and poor source of calcium. Meat is excellent source of vitamin B complex, not vitamin C is absent in the lean meat. Pork meat contains about 5 to 10 times more thymine. Liver is rich in the source of iron, B2 and B3 vitamins and vitamin A. Conversion of muscle to meat. They are the following changes of the conversion of muscle to meat. First is loss of the homeostasis. Second is 
post rigor glycolysis and ph is declined then rigor mortis is being the happened then after the loss of protection from invading microorganism then there is a degradation of the proteolytic enzyme and there is a loss of structural integrity postmortem glycolysis and ph decline in the absence of oxygen anaerobic glycolysis leads to the formation of lactic acid from the glycogen reserve the accumulation of the lactic acid lowers down the muscle ph as the uh, lactic acid has been accumulated then the ph will be low which is important post mortem changes during the conversion of muscle to meat in the most species the gradual decline continues to approximately in ph in the living muscles during the few first few hours of 5 to 6 hours and then there is a little drop in the next 15 to 20 hours and giving an ultimate ph of about 5.5 to 5.7 as a sharp decline in the postmortem ph even up before the dissipation of the body heat through the carcass chilling may be causes a denaturation of the muscle protein so the muscle depicted a pale soft exudative conditions contrary to the muscles which maintains the consistency high ph during the postmortem conversions of meat due to the depletion of glycogen prior to the slaughter deposit are dark firm and dry conditions and both the conditions are the first is the pale soft exudative and watery meat in this mostly seen in the pigs which are danish and landrace breed causes a improper handling which is caused due to the improper handling due to stress and lead to glycogen is there is a glycogen depletion which lowers the lower the ph and due to the lower of ph which is uh, ranges between 5.1 to 5.2 and there is acidification of muscle before the heat dissipation lead to the protein denaturation and the water holding capacity of the meat has been decreased so the water oozes out from the meat and the meat will be watery in the pale soft pale porcine stress syndrome also called as for fatal syncope is characterized by the skeletal muscle de de degeneration with accumulation of the excessive pericardial fluid in the muscle meat there is excessive accumulation of pericardial fluid it may be due to porcine stress syndrome in the dfd dark firm and dry there is seen in mainly in the beef meat which is less extinct in the pig with their ultimate ph is 6.2 the muscle appear dark dry the dry appearance is contributed by to high ultimate ph which result in the better water holding capacity it commonly occur in the animal which has not been fed for a prior before slaughtered then dfd condition will be occur phases of the rigor mortis they are may be delayed phase onset phase completion phase in delayed phase the muscle will become relaxed state in the onset phase the bonds between the actin and myosin filaments has been Comple uh, completion phase is rigor mortis, mortis setting not in the healthy animal the rigor mortis starts in 9 to 12 hour after the slaughter but it stays for the 20 to 24 hour then it passes off onset of the rigor mortis is accomplished by decline in the water holding capacity type of rigor mortis there are many type of is acid rigor alkaline rigor intermediate type first is acid rigor is characterized by the long delayed prior and short fast onset alkaline rigor is characterized by the short onset of stiffening in intermediate they are characterized by the short delayed prior period and low rapid phase resolution of rigor the lysosomal enzyme lysosomal enzymes called as cathepsins and get activated as the muscle ph decline as the muscle ph decline the enzyme cathepsin has been activated and this enzyme then degrades the protein structure that it causes a detachment of the actin filament and z line result in the fragments of myofibrils cold shortening when the pre rigor meat is chill below of 15 to 20 degree celsius before dissipation of heat it leads to cold shortening thaw rigor thaw rigor or freeze shortening the freeze freezing of the pre rigor meat dissipation of dissipation leads to a freeze shortening aging holding of unprocessed meat above the freezing point in the absence of microbial spoilage then the condition occur is known as aging or it is also known as conditioning it helps in increases the tenderness and flavor of meat aging help in the increases in the tenderness and flavor of the meat the aging aging freezing point meat is minus 1.5 degrees celsius 
The enhancement in the flavor is mainly attributed to the inosine, which is inosine monophosphate. A breakdown product is ATP, which is adenosine monophosphate. The aging period in different species of the food animals. The cattle is about 14 days. In the sheep and goat, it is about 7 days. Pigs is about 5 days. In chicken, is about 2 days. The water holding capacity of the muscle directly proportional to the pH changes in the muscle. Animal meat and their characteristics. So the cattle meat is known as beef. Its color is a bright cherry red and its consistency is fairly firm and dressing percent is 55%. Buffalo meat is called as cara beef and it is a uh, color of cherry red and its consistency is firm and 57% of the dressing. Sheep animal is no, uh, having mutton, meat is known as mutton and its color is uh, light red to brick red and its order is common, uh, coming from this ammonical order and consistency is very firm and 50% of dressing. Goat uh, meat is known as chivon and its color is light red and the goaty odor is coming from the meat. Consistency is very firm and dressing percent is 49%. Pork meat is, uh, pig meat is known as pork and its color is grayish red to pink color. Its odor coming from the meat of the pig is urine like odor and it is very soft in consistency and 72% of the dressing percent. Poultry is about, heavy meat is known as chicken. Its uh, meat is about grayish white in color and its consistency is soft and its dressing percent is 65 to 70 percent calf meat is known as wool uh, its color is brownish pink and its consistency is soft and gelatinous deer meat is known as venison and its <coughs> and horse meat is known as chivalin its color is dark red and its consistency is soft Important definitions. A consumption of a dog meat is known as kinophasia. Consumption of horse meat is known as hypophasia. Bright red color in meat is due to oxymyoglobin. Brown color in meat is due to metmyoglobin. Pink color of a cured meat is due to nitrosyl hemochromes. Bright red color is development in the meat is known as bloom. Bright red color development in the meat is known as bloom. The fresh uncooked meat is known as whip and the third uncooked meat is known as drip and the incooked meat is known as shrink. Properties of meat fed in animal. Beef. Uh, its fat color is yellow white in color. Its consistency is very firm and intramuscular fat are present in the beef meat. Kera beef. Uh, it is fat color is pure white. Its consistency is firm and the unique feature is intramuscular fat is absent in the kera beef mutton is color is fat color is white is typical crispy and very firm its maximum intramuscular fat and marbling chivon its fat color is white its consistency is very firm and unique feature that intramuscular fat is absent in this chivon having a color of about white color and consistency is very firm and its unique feature that intramuscular fat is absent in this will having no intramuscular fat pork is uh, generously white in color and soft and greasy in consistency and maximum subcutaneous fat is present in the pork meat chicken meat is yellowish white in color and its uh, consistency is loose and mostly subcutaneous fat is present in the chicken meat horse meat is uh, mainly golden dark yellow in color and soft and greasy in consistency Hi highest glycogenic content in the horse meat is 2.28 which is about 2.2 highest glycogen content in the which meat horse meat the intramuscular fat in is highest in the intramuscular fat is highest in the mutton vitamin a is present in the meat of beef mutton but absent in the buffalo meat and chivon refractive index of horse meat is 53.5 and iodine value of a pork is 50 to 70 and of a horse meat is 71 to 86 meat preservation they are first is controlling of lowering of temperature they are known as chilling and freezing and increasing in the temperature is by pasteurization and sterilization moisture control therefore the dehydration drying and freeze drying chemical treatments is curing and smoking and other treatments are irradi irradiations higher pressures and packaging methods of preservation of meat 
chilling at a 4 degree celsius meat must be chilled after a post mortem inspection and must be held at a temperature not more than 7 degree celsius for the carcasses and cut in a carcass red meats and 4 for the degree 4 degree celsius for the poultry and 3 degree celsius for the offal cells it is the most uh, it is the method choice for short term preservation because it slow down some microbial growth and enzymatical activity chilling room temperature is between minus 1 to minus 5 degree celsius and should not exist at 10 degree celsius efficient chilling and further maintenance in a temperature is, uh, ranges from about minus 1 to 0.5 degree celsius during the storage a transport and display in the conjugation the strict hygiene and excellent packaging may be extend the shelf life of about 12 weeks meat should contains an store at about 7 degrees celsius and offals are stored at, at a 3 degrees celsius air speed in the room is about 0.75 per second relative humidity in the room is 85 to 90 percent and if a rapid chilling leads to if there is rapid chilling then it will leads to a called shortening physical changes in the chilled meat shrinkage shrinkage or the loss weight occurs as a result of evaporation of the water from the meat surface Sweating is a, denotes a condensation of a water vapors on a meat block from a cold store from an ordinary room temperature. The condensation occurs because of the cold refrigerator carcass lowers the temperature of air below the dew point. Loss of bloom. The bloom is defined as the color and general appearance of the carcass surface. When viewed through a semi-transparent layer, the connective tissue, muscle and fat while form the carcass form on the carcass surfaces. Cold shortening, it is undesirable change associated with a quick chilling. Cold shortening is noticed when a pre rigor muscles while the pH of the muscle was still above 6.2 and adenosine triphosphate was still present. Were subjected to a temperature below of 10 degrees Celsius in which the meat is very tough of meat occurred due to extreme contraction and the cold shortening occurred due to the inability of the sarcoplasmic reticulum to sequestrate the calcium at a lower temperature between 0 to 5 degrees Celsius and decrease the binding of mitochondria. To bind a calcium result in the spillage, spoilage into a sacroplasm and cold shortening ensures such much same fashion of calcium triggering muscle contraction. Freezing. A freezing of meat involves a reduction of the internal temperature of meat below the uh, 1. minus 1.5 degrees Celsius and further storing a temperature may less than it is feeding freezing point. It is a method of choice for the long term preservation of meat because it, it stops the microbial growth and enzymatic activity. Method of freezing. There are two methods of the freezing. First is slow method and quick freezing. The slow freezing is the temperature of the product being frozen remains near the initial freezing point of the extended time in the case of slow freezing. This result in the formation of continuous freezing boundaries and the freezing proceeds slowly from the exterior to the interior. The uh, freezing will be proceeds from the exterior then to interior. Slow freezing favors the formation of pure ice crystals and concentrations of the solutes in unfrozen condition. A long period of crystallization exists in the slow freezing. The long period of crystallization exists in the slow freezing. The producing numerous large extracellular masses of ice crystals that are easily lost and drip during thawing. Quick freezing. The temperature of the product being frozen fall below the initial freezing point rapidly in case of quick freezing. The numerous ice crystals with the filament like appearances are formed both intra and extracellularly at the approximately same speed. Small ice crystals are formed and have a very little opportunity of small ice crystals and resulting in a discontinuous freezing boundaries and very little translocation of the water. The shelf life of a frozen meat for a mutton, chivon and beef and carabeef there can be shelf life of about 6 months and whereas the pork and chicken meat having a shelf life of about 4 months due to freezing. Changes in the frozen storage meat. Weep. 
or drip. Whipping denotes the presence of watery, blood-stained fluid which escapes from the frozen meat when thawed and consist consists mainly of water together with salts. Extractive proteins, peptides, amino acids, lactic acid, purines, vitamins of B complexes damage the blood corpuscles. The latter are responsible for the pink decoloration of the fluid and radially recognizable on the microscopic examination. The slow freezing produces a large ice crystal formation which mechanically ruptures the thin sheath of the muscle fiber and rapid freezing incurs a less time in the zone of maximum ice formation and a smaller crystal will cause a little or no damage. Second is rancidity. The storage temperature and exposure to a light and critical factor governing the pace of the onset of rancidity and enhancement in the tenderness of meat and depression in the juiciness of the main changes in the sensory attribute caused by the freezing of meat. Bone darkening. Bone darkening is a condition in which develop when the young poultry is frozen and thawed. Organoleptic properties of a muscles are not affected but the brown to black appearances of the long bones and the surrounding muscles resulting in a leaching of hemoglobin out of the bone marrow and subsequent oxidation of the red hemoglobin to matte hemoglobin produces a dark color and the bone darkening is a problem only in the young birds but for two reasons. First is more hemoglobin is present in the bone marrow of the young and rapidly growing birds and secondly the incomplete calcification of the bone allows the hemoglobin to escape through the marrow cavity. Recrystallization. Recrystallization is the important physical changes which may take place during the frozen storage resulting in a translocation of water and consolidation of unfrozen soluble water molecules tends to migrate to small to large crystals. Thoriger when a pre-riger meat is frozen a severe type of riger meat is ensured during the thawing. The shortening so produces may be 60 to 80 percent of the original length of the unstrained muscles. Although a shortening is less in a muscle attached to a skeleton and the condition result in a tough meat and heavy drip loss. Curing. Curing is a Curing is an defined as addition of salt like sodium chloride, sugar and nitrate or nitrite to a meat which resulted in the conversion of meat pigments into characteristic cured meat pigments uh, which will impart a characteristic cured meat color and production of characteristic milk meat flavor. The curing time for the ham is about 3 days per kg then the bacon is about 7 days per inch thickness of the subcutaneous fat and in the old, it is the oldest method of preservation of the meat. Curing ingredients Ingredients are mainly sodium chloride, sodium potassium nitrate, sodium nitrate, nitrite, and monosodium glutamate, sugar, acetic acid, vinegar, and spices. Permissible limit of the nitrite is about 200 ppm and of the nitrate is about 500 ppm. Nitrate and nitrites are responsible for the characteristic flavor and pink coloration of the cured meat. The pink color of the cured meat is due to nitrohemochromazine. Smoking. After the curing, the meat is smoked in a water at a temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius for about an hour and desalination. Then the dried and placed in a smokehouse. Smoking is done in adding addition to curing. Hardwood logs and sawdust are used to generate smoke. Smoking gives the product a characteristic color and flavor. Smoking is a process extend for 3 days at a temperature of about 85 degrees Celsius and retards the fat oxidation. The chief bacteriostatic and bactericidal substances in the wood smoke is formaldehyde. This is most important. The chief bacteriostatic and bactericidal substances in the wood smoke is formaldehyde. Drying. At the present, drying plays, in very, plays only a minor role is the preservation of meat. On a commercial scale, scale jugged meat. Jerked meat in South America, the dried meat is called as jerked meat, which is prepared by cutting a beef into strips and drip dried rapidly in the air. Pemmican. In North America, the dried product is known as pemmican, it which is used for from the venison, fish or beef. In this method, the meat is smoked before drying and then a pulverized and equal amount of fat is being added. Biltong. In South Africa, in South Africa, the common 
dried meat is popularly known as biltong which is a prepared mainly from the beef and also from the flesh of game animals which is antelope and sometimes from the zebra and ostrich the known as biltong charqui a number of fring uh, uruguay and brazils the dried meat product is called as charqui which is prepared by the salting and sun drying of the reefless fore quarter of the beef and charqui is keeps well for the month under the ambient room conditions and resistance to infestation by the insects and big growth of molds odka in somalia and other east africa countries a sun dried meat product known as odaka is made from the lean beef a big meat piece strips are cut and drying salt is usually applied and odaka is stored at by covering with oil and kept in the air tight container which has a shelf life of more than 12 month and there is one more known as uppu kandam in india especially in the tamil nadu the dried meat is popularly known as uppu kandam which is prepared from the salted and sun dried mutton and goat meat quanta in ethiopia and other east africa countries the dried meat manufactured from the lean beef is known as quanta kilishi in nilgiri and some of the west african countries the dried meat obtained from the sliced leaf beef goat meat and known as kilishi pashtirma in turkey Egypt and Armenia a salted and dried meat from the not too young animals is called as pastrina and this has better microbiological stability than biltong